Hi, it's Jonathan from Finney Electrical. We are installing this cable to power up that house. Let's do this. Right then, so on to the job then. So this is the cable that's going in. So what we're going to do then, is going to be Northern Power Grid's going to come off the road, dig a trench in, get his cable in. They might put a white box on the outside with a fuse and then the cables go through the wall. Or they might drill theirs through and then come into our containment that we're going to install. But first of all, we're going to take that into consideration. So we're going to come slightly this way. And then what we're going to do then is get it through the wall then. So there's a massive core cut to do. So I'll show you how we get the angle. Look at this, we've got little Robin. I think it must live here. I think they've kept the door open. And it <laughs> must have built a nest inside. I, mean, I think they've been feeding off all the builders' crumbs and that. Hello, oh. oh, little Robin. Where'd he go? I think he hides under here. <laughs> Probably got a little house under there. Yeah, I don't know. Right then, so let's get into this. So what we're going to do then, we'll show you how to measure out um, how to get the perfect angle. Brian just nipped out to get an extended bit because it's not going to be long enough. Um, but yeah, so where's that tape measure gone? But essentially what we're going to do then, we want to pop out about here. You don't need to be at the bottom of your trench because as you dig your angle down into your trench, uh, if you're at your bottom of your trench going 45, there won't be enough to bend up. So if you just land at your bottom of your trench, there's no angle to bend up and it's really hard to get it in. You'd have to dig deeper. So what we're going to do is pop out in the middle of this. So what we're going to do, that's this exit hole. And obviously the entry hole's going to be the other side. Um, basically 45 degrees right in the corner as the wall meets the floor so that's what we're going to do so we need to measure for that so <clears throat> what we're going to do then is measure off some of it we can see so we've got the window pane then so we're going to measure from there to this front then and then measure from the inside to the internal wall and then that will give us the distance between here and the internal wall so we'll know how far we're going to be digging down because that's important so if it's quite wide you're gonna to have to send it on a on a lesser angle if it's quite shallow you're gonna send it on a on a deep angle to get it into that same uh, 500 mil position that one so we've got that that plane we're working with and then we've got this plane to work with so we measure from the windowsill down measure from the windowsill down on the inside and see if there's a height difference and then we know exactly where where uh, we need to measure from here down to the hole if that makes sense here we go we've got as uh, details for this then so uh, we've got 270, so 2070, sorry, from the window wall to the outer wall. That's that distance from here all the way to the outer. And then we've got 1820 from internal that way. So the, the different difference is 250 then. So we've got 250 mil of wall from this to the outer, to the, to the exit wall. And then on the other plane then, we've got 1240, which was this window pane to the floor. Uh, and it's 1820 so it's it's uh, no 1130 so it's a hundred mil difference between this floor here and the ground level there so let's use that so I have to come back round measure from there so we know this floor level then when we come to the other side of this we know how much down from this position here down to his exit hole we need so we just measured that to be fair and it's 500 mil then we need so we'll show you how we get the perfect angle for the drill so then so we're going to be going 250 through then so if we come out that's your 250 that's your 250 mark and then it's going to be 500 mil then is the distance from this level down to where we want it to pop out so if we just hold that up there 500 mil that is your actual angle of your drill it's perfect really so if we just drill like that we'll pop out exactly where we want it in the trench so you can do a bit of uh, a bit of maths so you can do uh what is it soccer toe and all that if you want to get a perfect angle get a uh, an actual protractor out and get the perfect angle or you can eye it up because there's, there's that much tolerance um within where we want to pop out that it, it doesn't really matter that much <laughs> so 250 by 500 so that's that and then that's your angle if you look at that tape measures angle that's your angle if you come 250 out from there yeah cool right then so what we're gonna do then we'll get the core cutter we'll get the extended bit on and we'll send it in in the angle and it should pop out in the perfect place so that's to get the angle but obviously we've got to measure it off this far corner to where we want it to pop out this way. So you've got this elevation as well to go with. So once we get that measurement, so we know exactly along this way, we need to get that perfect angle and it will pop out in the perfect place. Imagine missing a step, I never do that. Now we're still waiting on Brian on this uh, extendable bit. So we'll get this chunking prepped. So what we're gonna do then, this piece is gonna sit there. It's gonna come all the way to the end here. And then we've got loads to play with then. So we've got these isolators to sit on then. Wow. So these are the isolators then. So essentially we've got three of these to go on and a fuse bar in the future uh, just one for now so that 
is gonna sit. No, it's a bit, but we've got to plan this out. So I'm thinking fuse board this end for the garage. So we need to allow for that. And then an isolator, isolator, isolator. And then what, and then just leave some room here for the, for the meter people, for Northern Power Grid. So that's the plan. We'll get this mounted up. We'll get some fixing holes. So we've got a little cone cutter. I'm going to cut it more than the screw head and then I'm just going to pay, penny washer fixing it. Um, the trunking. So we've probably got like every, what do you think? 400, 600, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 fixings. And it should be nice and solid. What do you think, Jonah? Yeah, great. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. What do you think of this job? It's all right. Would you put a pole on back? Pole and football carts. Pull football cart, astro turf, and just kick it as much as I could. Should be like a sports centre. Yeah, I would do that. There we go. John wants a sports centre for a house. Yeah, so this project's pretty exciting then. So it's going to be a, a smart on project, which is going to be really cool. So obviously everything's going to be automated and the house is going to be absolutely amazing. We've, they've got like this amazing interior designer. They've sent over the stuff and we've quoted on that. But yeah, it looks pretty sick. It's all like um, oldie worldy, uh, fitting in with like the old, I think it's a Victorian house, but it's like an older house. Um, but yeah, it's gonna look amazing once it's all done. So looking forward to that. But yeah, I think stage one power in there. Then when Northern Power Grid comes and we do the house, we can power the house up. Uh, and then eventually they're gonna build a pool house on the back, which is gonna be pretty sweet. So looking forward to it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Brian's back, Ellis is dancing, <laughs> and we've got an extended bit, right then? So we'll, we'll see if that's long enough. We've Jump got in. a spare one, just in case it's not long enough. So let's get it on drill, we'll get it banged through, and uh, hopefully we'll get that cable through. It's just gonna be awkward, isn't it? It's gonna take four of us just to get through that hole, isn't it? <laughs> got the beast is with us though. The beast from the east. He's had, he's had his food, he's fueled up, and he's ready to go. There we go, Glamour's assistant Jonas, just start the hole. This is uh, a leak like that. So yeah, 250 out, 500. So basically, uh, upwards, up. What? It needs to go up to 500. So basically, once that drill hits that 500 mark in the centre, and that's the perfect angle to pop us out where we want it to go. So where do you think, Jonah? What? Put your guess in where he's going to pop out. In all, <laughs> nice one. Uh, no, I'm guessing. Right. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Never. I measured it with him, and he said he's off on the left hand side at wall. Actually, I think he's going to be higher up. Answers on a postcard. Where do you think? Answers on a postcard. He's hoovering like a good boy, cleaning. It's all the mess is gone for the customer. So, the lucky one who, uh, you know, sends a postcard of the, of where it's going to be, yeah? The lucky one of you is going to get a signature of all of us posted back to your door. Yeah, apparently Jonah's done a giveaway <laughs> of where he thinks he's going to pop out. I'll just watch back the footage. He goes, right, I'll give you the GoPro. When you see the top of it, start filming. You'll see it pop through. Um, but yeah, we've got some here. Uh, we've got Jonah Cam. Tell me if you like Jonah Cam below. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it should pop through. I, I think it'll pop through around about here. So we measured it to land in this section here. And it basically needs to pop between here and here. So hopefully it lands in the right place. I'm hoping, basically, everyone's getting cold, so we're taking turns just to get warm by drilling. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ellis is on it now. So hopefully it's kept the same angle, but it should, it should pop out within this section anyway. So all is good. Come on, Jonah. So whilst we're waiting then for this uh, car cut to get done, so they've already been on it. A couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, they're getting there. They're getting there. Finally, John is shoveling dirt towards the wall. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we're just gonna like dig this section out then. So basically, it's coming out the ground here. So around here, we'll have to dig it so it goes to the depth of what it should be about 500 mil. But yeah, depends on it. Robin's back. He's probably annoyed that we've uh, disturbed his home. <laughs> we're just gonna dig this out then, get it laid in the floor and it should pop up there then so yeah i can't wait to get this in and then it's just a long grind then to get this cable in we'll have to chop it down a little bit and get it up in and then glanded off and we'll have to get it cleaned off because it's not going to look very good all dirty coming up the wall is it 
Right then, this video's turned into the nightmare car hole. Mm. Right, so what we're going to do with that is pile up this then. So we're going to send it through with a minute. Nice, so we've got like a nice little 10 build bit. We'll send that through. It should pop through. We'll send it up, up. And then when we send the bigger one through, it should have weakened it enough. It should just crumble into the hole, hopefully. One eternity later. Got it. Got it. Well done. We're here. We've got a rod through. Got the actual drill bit through. Good. So that's the top of the hole then. So we're going to drill another one and it should pop out down here and then left, then right. And then core cut and hopefully it'll go through. But essentially, it's just uh, as the drill bit's getting deeper and deeper, it's just that much resistance going through a lot of block. It's just clogging up and uh, making the drill spin and you just can't carry on drilling. It carried on it would just get more and more resistive and then you won't be able to pull it out again and you'd be stuck with a metal piece in the wall. Yeah we got we got bored of the hole then so we're just gonna fix this then so these lads could carry on doing some work. Uh, whilst we're drilling this one hole. The one hole to rule them all. And the one ring in it. Right that's the bottom done. <laughs> Shut like another hour. So that's the that's gonna be like the top of the car cut, bottom of the car cut. So the cable should come in here nicely. Oh, it's just getting snagged. It's that, uh, it's that clear. So, yeah, it's gonna be like the most boring video going. You know, just how to drill a hole. Just keep drilling. Just keep drilling. Yeah. So we're just gonna probably stitch into the left and right. I think. Because last time I put the car cutter in, it got stuck. And yeah, if I get stuck it well, I'll have to start again. <laughs> yes. Woohoo! Hooray! Flipping neck. Celebrate, celebrate. Oh, that took some doing that, didn't it? What do you think, Jonah? Effort? It took ages. It did take ages, didn't it? Flipping neck. So yeah, we're just gonna now we can finally get that cable in. So we're gonna decide where that this isolate is gonna sit then. It's got this big whack off isolator. That's gonna take the mains cables into that. And then obviously out of that, uh, it'll be fused for the house. So that's gonna sit on top of the trunking. So we're just gonna line that up, sit it on the earth, draw around it, cut it out, get some uh, grommet strip on there, or card off strip, and then that'll be that bit done. But yeah, we're gonna leave a little section here then for me to people, show our box on here probably, and then we'll have a chat with customer then and say, right, uh, this has got like holes in it, it's not very good, we'll ditch this off or relocate it. Right, so me and Jonah now then, so we're gonna get this cable cut, that's his hole, that's perfect that, so. Well done. But yeah, so we're just going to get this long enough to go to the bottom, up to the top and across, and then it'll get chopped then. So we're just going to chop this down with the angle grinder. John is excited to use it. But yeah, the builder ran this blinking cable in, and the other end is like two metres. So I would have had a, liked to have a bit more on the other end. I don't know why he run the cable in. You know, a bit annoying, really, but I don't know. When builders do electrics. We've all seen it, haven't we? Electricians out there. And then a bit of lunch time then. So Jonah's uh, occupied at the moment. So we're just gonna have a look around this job with Brian then. There we go then. So this is uh, around the large kitchen, Brian. Ooh. So it's gonna look very nice in here. It's nice tall ceilings, isn't it? This yeah. is gonna be a nice little uh, little cozy living room, I think, off the top of my head. Boot room. So this will be like a little corridor then. It's like, like arched ways like this, which will be cool. Going through to a nice stairwell with all light flooding in through the sides. That wall's going to come along here then, and then this is where we've got to fit on the electrics and So we've got a temp supply to do. So basically the cable comes in there, so we'll have to pull it off as a board and just lay it forward for some, because the floor's going to get raised a little bit here. Um, this is how they brought in. There's not a lot of cable there to play with. So ideally, we, we could have had I, the, the length to go onto the far right, but it's going to have to go on the left side because of the length of cable. Oh, yeah, so yeah, this is what we're going to deal with. So this, this hopefully we uh, we get the rest of this this job and we'll uh, we'll be wearing this smart home. It's going to look pretty sick. 
Right, Jonah, what did you have for lunch then? Let us know. A jumbo sausage roll, yeah. a whisper bar, beef monster munch, yeah. diet Pepsi. Lovely. Brian had a keto Ke diet. Keto diet, yeah. Brian's on the keto, Salami smashing it. Salami and chicken. Yeah. I'm on the water. Sad Good times. Now I come back and look what Brian's got up to. Look at that beautiful landing there. It's got to get pushed up a little bit, but yeah, we'll, we'll get all this. Obviously, all this is dead at the moment. Eventually, supply will come in. We'll uh, supply will come into here and feed some other isolators and go off to the house, pull out and garage. But that's looking pretty sick, Bri. Well done. All right, let's get this lid back on. Isolators on, looking nice and level. And we'll get this job right. I'll go. There we go. That's the cable in. Isolators in. Absolute beautiful job then. So, what do you think? But that cable was a nightmare, flipping that. It took us ages to get that in. So we had to like, core cut it, we were getting stuck. We saw the wigglies with Jonah and Ellis trying to pull it out the hole. You know I mean? <laughs> and then we had to like stitch it top and bottom and then core cut it and finally it went. But flipping that, that's uh, definitely a feat to get that cable in. So yeah, but that's nice and neat and sweet, that. Straight up, straight in, jobs are good in. Right then, so we might ditch these out. So I'm guessing all this is gonna get rewired. You can get your fingers in, get a shock, stuff like that. Um, yeah, but basically we've left enough room for another two isolators to do the garage in here and a little little garage DB. So that's all she wrote. Are you wanting to sign this off, Jonah? Oh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. That's what you're saying. It. That's what yeah. I say. Yeah, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we're next upload. So as I've gone from me and Jonah, introing this one. I'll yeah. see you on the next one.